I, I want to say thank you very much, Matthew, uh, for opening office hours. Um, you know, uh, I, like, I, I, I don't know if you remember, but I, when I, uh, we first met, I actually mentioned that uh, my years ago, my dad actually bought your book. Oh. Uh, and uh, that's how I actually heard about you a couple, uh, all those years ago. Well, I'm still alive. Is your dad still alive? Yep, yes, yes. Great. Well, we're both around. <laughs> Where do you live, Dave? I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Now I'm from Wilkesboro originally. So, right up yeah, the road there. Yeah, actually, I, I looked you up when I saw that, and I was like, oh, it's not too far away. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, you're a filmmaker, or what are you up to? Yeah, I'm a filmmaker. What kind? Is it uh, a theatrical film, or industrial, or porn, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've, uh, I've actually done theatrical stuff. Um, I, you know, it, it's funny because I've actually been a finalist for film grants because I've applied directly to like you know certain film uh, uh -huh. groups. And in my experience, uh, if you're not a documentary filmmaker, right, you're you're pretty much on the outside because yeah. all of those grants that I've seen over the years, and I mean the big grants, even the small grants. Uh -huh. if, if you're not a documentary filmmaker or if you're or a special project or something like that, then they really don't want to talk to you most of the yeah. time. Uh, and I, I have tackled this a myriad of ways. Uh, and really, there's no there's there's no real way that if you have like, let's just say you and I wanted to make a, a short little horror film. Mm -hmm. There's really no grants for that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk with you and just see is, you know, if there's anything that you might suggest that I could yeah. do. And I'm not looking for big bucks here. I'm not looking for a million dollars. Even if I could get a grant for like, you know, a thousand, two thousand, something like that, uh -huh. just to create a small trailer. I, I just see. wanted, you know, something, you know, small money like that, just to see if there's anything I could do. Uh, and what what is the is it a horror film or what? Well, I don't have anything in particular in mind right now. Uh -huh. um, I just you know I, I just wanted to pick your brain to see right. if there is any any sort of uh, great well, anything. What um, here's what comes to my mind. One is your state has an arts council. I don't know if you ever dealt with them at all, uh, but you know if you had a film, you know what would appeal to them more to would be. And also the humanities, if it was something, a film around something in Philadelphia or, you know, something local, they, you know, that they may, they may have more an interest instead of just doing, you know, a, an advertisement for, you know, Pepsi Cola or something like that. Uh, and and not, there also is every state now has a, a film division, you know, where they have money for people who want to shoot films in the state you know what i mean uh and that would be the uh, from the office of economic development in harrisburg they will have a special division for films that have money to help produce films no matter how big or small theoretically what they really want to do is hire people but you know this would be hiring people too because you know if something they give you five grand to do something you're really hiring people to do it uh, the other thing, I don't know if you're aware of on the internet, there's something called Patreon. Do you know them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that is a, you know, for artists of all kinds, films or whatever, and it's monthly money for artists. And they're now giving, I talked to the guy who started it a couple of years ago, and I thought, oh, you know, it sounded so great that I thought it'd be gone in six months. But two years later, they're giving out a million dollars a month to artists. That's every month, yeah, you know, uh, on that platform. Uh, there are certain crowdfunding platforms, maybe because you're in the business, you run into them already, just, just for filmmakers. I've interviewed some of them now, too, that, you know, to help you through all the process of filmmaking, raising money and, you know, small amounts like you're, you're talking about and whatever. I forget the names off the top of my head, but I could, uh, they're probably crowdfunding videos or filmmaking, you know, would bring them up. And of course, Indiegogo does a lot of, of that. Have you tried crowdfunding at all for this or for anything in film? Well, yeah, I actually have. Um, I actually do crowdfunding consulting all the time. Uh, oh, really? On the side as well. 
uh, because I, I've helped um, I, way back when I was actually one of the first people to use Indiegogo. Oh wow! A friend of mine was a son. Yeah, a friend of mine was a Sundance programmer, uh -huh. and she told me, she told me about it, and uh, I thought you know this doesn't sound on the up and up, and uh, I mean this was like 2008, 2009, wow. and I started I, I started one, and people were like dumbfounded, what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> so what I did was, it, did, it didn't do so well, yeah. but then I did another one, and then I did, I, you know, I would make short films, and, and yeah. people would donate, and so, you know, well, uh, in 2010, I was able to raise about 10,000 bucks for this TV pilot. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, I ended up getting to pitch to NBC, I got to pitch to G4 Video Game Channel. Well, they didn't, they didn't uh, G4 went bankrupt, and they went, came GQ, and NBC <laughs> passed on it. Uh, and the project burned me out so bad that I, I haven't crowdfunded anything since. Yeah. But uh, the uh, the a lot of people kept asking me, how, how did you do this? How did you do that? Yeah. Finally, I kept saying, you know what? You know, I'm helping all these. I'm answering this question like ten times a day. Right. So I might paid. as well just you know, start <laughs> setting up a chart for it. And um, it's funny because a lot of my friends who you know they, they think that that I, I bet I'm not going to charge them anything. Right. They'll come up. They'll, they'll so I ask on Facebook, like, hey, uh, what my, my project you know, has 15 days left, uh -huh. we need $10,000, what should we do? <laughs> and I always say, like, well, you know, okay, um, but, um, you know, I, you know, I, crowdfunding is a great option. I have a Patreon up right now for my podcast. Oh, really? Um, cool. I need, to do, I need to do a lot more work on that. Yeah, and, all that um, stuff. And I'm insane. hoping, because I, I have over 100 episodes of this podcast. And wow. I know the Patreon is more popular, but uh, mm -hmm. I think I, I've hit some roadblocks that I have to uh, assess. Mm -hmm. And um, so I need to make a better pitch video is what, what yeah. I think the main problem is. But um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try – well, what I wanted to try was by the end of the year, I was hoping to make just something again. I mean, it's been five years since I, I actually you know, made a film. Of wow. My own. I usually am helping out with yeah. people. Uh -huh. And I, I, th th that's why I wanted to talk to you today, Matthew, just to see if there was anything that I wasn't thinking about yeah. well, uh, in terms of, you know, of, of just finding any grants, uh, you know, anybody, you know, anything. Because um, I, I was thinking about crowdfunding, you know, $1,000 yeah. know, just to make this trailer and mm -hmm. just, you know – and, and use that to start building a, a fan base on YouTube. So if you know what I mean, yeah. uh, it, to, to, even more than an audience. Right. Uh, I mean, the only other thing would be is, God, it just, you know, Fat Cats in Philly. I mean, it, to me, I see like young filmmakers, they run to somebody who, you know, wants to be in the film business and they're making so much, you know, like, like lawyers would rather own a restaurant, you know. I mean, you're in that. Now it's finding those people and, and you know, that may be, there are venture capitalists. See, if you go to the Office of Economic Development, you could get, uh, you know, a listing of venture capitalists and angel investors. These are fat cats with money. So if they're there, you know, they're, they're, and they're, they're, you could find them on it. If you go to angelinvestor.com, or I forget what the hell, angel list kind of thing. You know, you put in a you know, like Pennsylvania, and you'll see all the fat cats, you know, looking for, you know, IT companies to invest in. Well, you're sexier than an IT company in a way, and you only need a thousand bucks. Yeah, because they may meet pretty girls if they hang around you. Yeah, and I'm thinking yeah. <laughs> that you know these people in a barrel because their fat cats want to invest in IT companies, but at least you could find them. And send proposals for your video, you know, because you don't need a whole lot. You know, somebody's looking to invest twenty, thirty, fifty, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in shit. You know, that, that they don't know what's going to come out of it. Why don't they have fun and give you a thousand bucks instead, <laughs> or in addition? <laughs> you know, in addition, the problem is finding those people. And see, in the IT world, it's open. It's open source. You know, finding. You know, getting to know the local doctor who has a bunch of cash looking for to do it. You got to join some country club or some shit like that. You know, and uh, but but these uh, IT fat cats are easy to find because they all love the internet so much. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very true. You know, I, I kept getting a, uh, invites to that angel list and I, I, I thought it was a scam or something. I, I, I have all these people asking me about uh, 
joining it, so I'm going to join that right yeah, now. Right, go, um, join it and see. Go to one of their meetings and see. You see, if they're all in barrel there, you know, you, you become, you know, like an IT company, but it, you don't have to do the business plan or the Shark Tank shit or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I have so many contacts too. I mean, it's just. You know what I mean? I think, it, you know what it is with my problem is, Matthew? I have a very interesting problem. It's not the fact that I don't have contacts. Uh -huh. It's the fact that, you know, because I have a ton. I mean, literally, I, I'm friends with M. Night Shyamalan's uh, producing partner. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you know, it's the same. Um, oh, I'm, I'm actually, see, we're almost out of time. Yeah. Um, we got nine seconds left. But I want to say thank you very much, Matthew. And, uh, you know, I, if you're ever on social media, you know, we're friends on Facebook and stuff, uh, you know, let's chat soon. Great. Here's my email. Your session has ended. Please take a moment to rate this session.